we still have a tremendous amount of confusion reigning here at the Portland Sports Arena. I guess we're going to try this one more time. The tag title match is going to be without Grappler. I, as far as I know, Grappler's still out. But Don Harris is there. Oh, there's, there's Masters. Is he going to take Grappler's place? I don't know. But from what I've heard now, it's going to be Crush and Mike Miller going against this team right here. And I guess it's going to be for the title. Don Harris, I mean, Don Owen, enlighten us, will you please? Grappler and Don Harris have had a real battle all week. We refused to go in the ring with each other. So, ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be a relay team match. One fall. Introducing in this corner the team of Don Harris and Pretty Boy Masters. Their opponents in this corner, the very powerful team of the Christ and Mike Miller. Well, this is going to be good. Now, I still, I did not, I don't think Don Owen clarified whether this is for the title. The last word I heard was, yes, this will be for the title because Don Harris is there, even though the grappler isn't. And now Masters is there. I, I don't know. Referee Sandy Barr, getting these things ready. Not, not things, I didn't mean to say he's getting the things ready. He's getting the men ready for battle. Making sure no one's uh, concealing any foreign objects or weapons in their trunks or their boots or their hair or wherever. And I think we're about ready to go. I, know, I want to wish Timmy Sherman a happy sixth birthday. Happy birthday to you, Timmy. Today's his birthday, and I hope you're watching. And I hope you figured out what in the world's going on, because I'm not sure I have. <laughs> I will find out sooner or later if this is for the title or not. I know one thing for sure. We're going to have another title. We're going to have a title match in just a little bit between C. Zoll and Rip Oliver. I know that. For sure. Look at Crush. He throws Masters down. Masters is not the one to be in there against Crush. Now, uh, they should have started that one out with Don Harris. Masters accusing, is accusing Crush of pulling his hair. Hey, listen, when you're the size of Crush, you don't have to pull any hair to cry it out loud. They just pick the guy up and throw him. That's all you have to do. Oh, uh, still awaiting word on the condition of Bart Sawyer. Bart injured in our first match tonight, severely injured. His left ankle, left leg, and I still don't know what the deal is with the grapple. Hey, look at Masters now. Masters gets some pretty good shots in here on the big man. One, but I don't think it's having that much of an effect. No, in fact, it's beginning to feel kind of good to uh, crush. Look at this, he's got a face lock on him, rake across the face, oh, that kind of hurt. Yeah, that burned him, that hurt him. That really hurt Crush. He's in the corner now, he's taking some four-arm smashes. He's taking all that Masters can give him, and I don't think that's going to be enough for Masters. Uh, into the rope, oh, into the rope goes Masters. And uh, Crush misses with that one, but look out! Oh, backbreaker! Woo! He did that with one arm. Uh, and Ron Harris is back up there. There we go. There uh, we go. Okay. Uh, so what do you think about tonight? Well, I don't know what to think about tonight. Ron <laughs> Harris is up here to close that with us again. I don't, you tell me, what, what's going on? Is this for the title now or not? No, 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 no. Right now, myself and my brother are still tag team in the Pacific Northwest. What you see right now is just taking care of business. Everything that's going on tonight, Don Toss, is through the guidance of Rip Oliver. And as you can see, things are finally getting taken care of here in the Northwest. Well, I'm not so sure they're getting taken care of in the right way. 
Have you heard any word on the condition of the grappler? Or Bart Sawyer, for that matter? Honestly, I don't know, and honestly, I don't care. Yeah, well, that's... When they show their face, when they get in the way, they'll be taken care of. Until then, it really doesn't matter, Don. Yeah, well... Boy, what a, what a guy, huh? Well, Mike Miller in there right now against um, Masters. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if your brother really picked the right partner out there. He's he's a little guy amongst the big men. He's, I don't, he's I, good though. He might be a little bit smaller than my brother, but he's an adequate wrestler. He knows what to do when it comes time. Well, right now he seems to be taking the brunt of Mike Miller, but yeah, he, give him a minute. He'll come around. He's not That's doing it right. Him. He's not doing it right now. Miller just, oh, man, he's one, two. Well, interference there now with Don Harris interfering. And that forces the, uh, that, that breaks the count. Uh, side headlock by uh, Mike Miller, do a little grind. I mean, that's, what, that's what creates the cauliflower ears out there right now. Well, I don't know, I just... Oh, Mike see, Miller says, see, now that's illegal. There's no cause for that. He's got a headlock on him, and he's talking about punching him or jabbing his throat. That's exactly the kind of underhand thing that put me out of the money. And you mean to tell me that everything else tonight that the Klan and your brother have been doing, that's been legal? Has that been legal? You can't justify one thing and then turn around and say another's wrong. Well, that doesn't even matter. Oh, crush comes down. Tremendous match across the back of, of Masters. Another backbreaker on Masters. That's another one! Another one! Three! Three in a row! This has got to be it. There's how much, much, how much can this... say about that except that's just sheer power. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's not much you can say about that, Don. No, that is sheer power. What I'm wondering, what in the world is keeping Masters in there? I mean, he's part of the clan. If you're going to be a part of the clan, then you've got that fortitude inside that's not going to let you give up. You're going to do what it takes sooner or later. Well, uh, oh, man. Miller, right? There, there's a comeback. See, there it is. Just one, Mike Miller just slipped up for a minute, took advantage of it. Well, yeah, he slipped that's up. good wrestling. Yeah, he let his back get in the way of your brother's knees. That's slipping up, huh? No, 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 no. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Don Harris, oh, but then just smacked right into the slap to the face. What? What are you looking at? Uh, Harris makes the tag now with Masters. Masters, oh, right into the rip team. Then <laughs> Mike Miller fights back. There's a lot of mean left in Miller, you can know that. Look at these two guys just slugging it out. Oh, Masters goes down again. Masters is down again, and now Harris with a whiplash on Mike Miller, and Miller is hurting in there right now. Miller is hurting. He's down. He's been That's taking... the thing about being in the ring with a bruise, brother. You always know you're taken care of. Oh, man. Right into the ribcage again. Well, now, I guess this means that because your brother is now a member of the clan, that you are now a member of the clan. Is that right? <laughs> Right now, I'm not a member of anything simply because I can't wrestle. You, like everybody else, just have to watch and see what's going to unfold here. Well, all right, let's watch and see what unfolds out there. Rush has got Harris in there, into the rope. Oh, look out! Backbreaker! Oh, tremendous move by Rush. And Danny gonna... Barr needs to get this under control. Well, it's, nothing's under control in there right now. Crush has got Don Harris. Mike Miller's got Pretty Boy Masters, and the referee's doing what he can. But there's not a whole lot he can do. Look out! Uh-oh, hold it, hold it! Rip Oliver's there, Larry Oliver's in there. Crush has got Harris in a full Nelson. We got, we got everybody. More interference. More interference in a match. Here comes the detail. Well, Ron, Ron Harris is even a close match right now. Look at Steve Call. He is a man possessed in there. He's going out there. Masters, he just, he just nailed Rip Oliver. Outside, Masters hits the guardrail. 
Well, we had a little house cleaning in there. Yeah, yeah, a little house cleaning. Masters, Harris, both Olivers are outside looking in now. And inside, Crush on his knees. And Steve Dahl there, Mike Miller, a bodyguard Ray just through uh, Lucille. But the chain wraps two by four, Mike Miller's into it. All right, there, there are your winners. There are your winners by disqualification. The team of Crush and Mike Miller. Let's, let's hold it. Let's just keep it here right now. I, I don't know. I have no idea what in the world's been going on or what's going to be, what's going on. Steve Dahl is up here right now. We are still awaiting word on the condition of Bart Sawyer and the grappler. This thing has just been an absolute mayhem, pandemonium, and confusion tonight. Dr. Cox, let me ask you a question. Just how much is one man supposed to take? One family supposed to take, huh? Let me ask you people something. How far are these guys going to have to push us? Go over the edge. I'll tell you how far they push us over the stinking edge. Hey, get, get Don Owens out here right now, baby. All right, Don Owens. We're asking Don Owens to come. Hey, up. Every time, brother. Every time, one of us has got a title match, or one of us has got a title shot. The clan's got to stick their nose in. It's never one on one or two on two. It's always the odds in their favor. We're about sick and tired of it. Hey, Don Owens got two choices. He can either get the clan in the ring right now and face us, three on four, three on five, we don't care. Or Don Owens, you can suspend all three of us right here, right now, because we don't give a damn anymore. Okay, well, he's right behind you now. Don Owens is up here in the crowd. Hey, hey Crush, Mike, I got an idea. You know, when you got a virus, when you got a virus, you got a disease, you got to take it out in stages, baby. Let's do a little chemotherapy right here in the sports arena. We want a six-man tag next Saturday night. And I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll eliminate the clan one at a time. Next Saturday night, baby, six-man tag. Me, the me man, and the crush against any three of the clan. And here's the deal. The loser, the loser of the fall. Get his butt out of the Northwest for good, baby. Uh, what do you think, Don? That's... Well, that's pretty drastic, but I'll tell you what's going on tonight. I've been up the ring three times. I haven't got to announce a single bout yet. But it's all right with me if they want to do that. In other words, as I understand it, you three will go against three of the clan, and whoever loses the fall, no matter who it is, for this crasher, who it is, they leave, leave. They leave the Northwest. So the loser of the fall loses everything. Whoever it is, if it's Rip Oliver, if it's Larry Oliver, if it's Doug Masters, if it's one of the Bruce brothers, we don't care who it is, brother. But I'm sick of this mess out here in the ring. I'm sick of the whole thing, what's going on in the Pacific Northwest. So what we're going to do, we're going to clean house, baby. And we're starting next Saturday night. Just right here. We got six things going on. This is our home, and we ain't leaving. All right, you heard it. Six-man uh, tag next Saturday night. The loser of the fall leaves town, no matter whose side that loser is on. We'll be back with more right after this. This January, watch for the world premiere of the Star Trek Federation Science Exhibit at the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry. Sponsored in part by KPTV 12, Portland. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to have the Fiesta Guard tonight. Instead, we have a very special interview now with the Grappler. This is, seems to be a night when they want to end careers. You know something, Don Cost? They tell me next week we're in Salem and then we're going to Eugene. Salem's Thursday, Friday in Eugene and back here on Saturday. But it seems like every time I'm making a habit of it now, every Saturday, it seems like I'm getting up here and getting beat up. Well, I'm going to tell you something. That gets old in a hurry, brother, and I don't like it. Let me tell you something. Don Harris, the Bruce brother, I heard you get up here bragging about you got an open contract and you'll take me on any time. Well, I talked to Don Owens, 
And he said, next Saturday night, I can have your butt right out there in that square circle, brother, and it's me and you. You know, you may think you're a big man, big man busting up my ribs, using a chair across my back, messing up my eyes, throwing stuff in my face. Well, let me tell you something, brother. I ain't no stranger to none of that. When I wrestle you Saturday, next Saturday, it ain't going to be no wrestling match. It's going to be a fight. And I'm the type of man that don't mind pulling hair. I'm the type of man that don't mind hitting below the belt, if you know where I'm coming from. And I'm going to tell you one final thing right now. If it takes everything in my body, next Saturday night, if I have to reach down with this finger in your eye socket and pull it out and stuff it down, you will sneak and throw, boy. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And you're going to know when it's all over. They got a name for you when you're the greatest wrestler in wrestling today. They don't call you a great wrestler. They call you the grappler. Be me if you can. Oh, I never thought I'd hear the cheers from the sports arena when he would say that. But we're hearing it tonight. Next Saturday night, the grappler and Don Harris fight right here. We'll be right back with more right after this.